I wanted to update this cigar box that I got at the thrift store for only $2. Um, as you can see, it has that really pretty label on the right hand side and I wanted to keep that. Um, and I knew this was not a vintage cigar box. It wasn't like I was ruining some antique or anything like that, but it just had pretty lines. Um, the inside definitely had this little burned end and um, little logo in here that I wanted to get rid of um, and find a creative way to do it. So I thought of making kind of like a fun little display assemblage of things. So the first thing I wanted to do was just very lightly coat this in my parchment colored chalk paint. I use this all the time. It's definitely one of my favorite chalk paints I've ever found. This particular one came from Michaels, um, but I'm really just not trying to use a whole lot of paint here. I still want kind of the original tone of the wood to show through. So I'm even thinning my paint out just a little bit more with a wet brush. And I'm um, really trying to spread it out so that it shows that wood tone through the paint. Um, and I'm uh, deliberately avoiding this label. I'm not um, working perfectly on these edges here, but I'm definitely deliberately avoiding this label. So I'm gonna get it all painted and also seal it with a uh, matte Mod Podge. So once it is all sealed up, this is what it looks like. I kind of played around with the hinge as well. Um, the next thing I wanted to do was give it just a little bit of distressing, especially at those edges. I did want to make it look like it was a, um, a antique piece or a vintage piece, especially with that label. Um, and I really love now how the label like pops on the right hand side because of this new color that I have on the cigar box. So I'm just removing um, a little bit of the paint. You can see where it kind of got a little too thick in some areas and I didn't like that thick, thick coverage. So that's all I'm gonna do. I am, Once it's finished um, being sanded, I am gonna seal it with Mod Podge and then we're gonna move on to the inside. But I just wanted to get that goopy um, kind of looking paint and give it just some good texture and have that pretty wood. So the next thing I wanna do is take this little frame, I'm, this little painting I got at another thrift store for only 59 cents and um, some fabric and also a piece of scrapbook paper. So I wanted to do, like I said, kind of a combo deal where I was going to cover the bottom with that piece of scrapbook paper and I'm just kind of eyeballing um, the right size to get it to fit in. So I will eventually get it to fit in this bottom here and that will cover the bottom of the box. The top of the box is going to be another story. I'm going to cover it with the fabric as well. And I'm going to use um, Mod Podge to attach the scrapbook paper and glue gun to attach the fabric. I have this bottle topper and I thought this would be a really fun idea. I'm taking my glue, I mean my glue, my gl drill, my drill here and um, I'm just going to drill some holes on the top. Um, I say glue because my glue gun's also a Ryobi. Um, so I'm taking my drill and I am making these little holes. I'm not drilling all the way through and I'm just being real careful here, but I'm going to drill about five holes in this um, little bottle topper. Um, and this was just gonna be a fun <coughs> kind of um, little irreverent thing that I wanted to do. And you'll see, um, as I go along here, but that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna drill like four holes kind of around the outside and then one hole in the middle. So just using this drill, I love this drill and all the Ryobi stuff because it comes with the, you know, the one battery and you just change it out. So that's why I love those products and they definitely make crafting really fun and easy. So the, this is my little thing. I've got this bundle of greenery, again, from the thrift store. Um, I thought it was fun and different. So what I wanted to do was take pieces of this and put it into um, each of the little holes because I wanted it to make it look kind of like a little planter, but something fun and different. So I'm just taking my wire cutters and I'm cutting pieces of this greenery off and I am going to stick them in those little holes. Um, this is just a fun way to use something like that bottle topper would have ended up in the trash. You know, anybody else would have thrown it away. But of course, I looked at it and saw an art piece, saw something fun and different to do. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just taking all these different little pieces from the greenery. I wanted to kind of mix it up and make it look a little bit different. Um, so I'm just cutting different pieces off different areas. 
to showcase some of the different colors in this greenery. I liked this um, this stuff and I thought it was really fun. I ended up gluing them in so they would stay. Um, I just didn't get any video of that. But let me show you what this, um, how this box turned out. So I did a little uh, nest with a feather in it and then I ended up gluing this um, bottle topper to a can lid and then if I wanted to close it up and just have it look like a regular box, um, you know, I could definitely do that, but just a really fun and different display. Um, hope it inspires you to do something with either a cigar box or any other number of boxes that you find at the thrift store. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy.